quite a few years back, uh, Tantara Mine. This was from the section where you had these abstract, um, what was it, calcite, some say replacing diaptase or diaptase turning into, uh, calcite turning into diaptase. My estimation was the uh, Chrysocola um, with calcite and, and diaptase, of course, associated from that particular deposit. Now, what we have here is a matrix, predominantly a core of some dolomite, maybe high copper content dolomite on the, on the core, surrounded by a crust of calcite, crystalline calcite, and infused with some diaptase crystalline in some sections as you see here. Now when you zoom in uh, on a close-up you'll see there's almost a little botoid sitting on top of that quartz crystal sitting on those diaptase crystals. When we look closer into the, the matrix you'll most likely see a bit of patterning which uh, Chrysocala on a cross section would make and perhaps we have some Shatukite here too. Uh, quite an aesthetic little guy. Um, from a display point of view, if you have them on a turntable, going around like this, going around like that, I would actually display it with this side up, across like that, in like that, across like that. Lovely patterning and lovely colors. Here we have a, a, a diaptase, of course, a, a copper emerald, known as copper emerald by some, or imitation by emerald by others. Or just just diaptase, what it is, with calcite and chrysocala, all the way from the famous Tantara mine in the Katanga. Of course, Tantara is pretty famous for the lovely diaptases and shatukites which came out there.